It's a girl Monique. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, I welcome you to my channel. I am Monique and I welcome you to the Almighty Nation. And for those who have subscribed a long time ago and who are still here supporting me, I love you guys and thank you for tuning in. So, as you all see in the title, I'll be discussing about what it's like to be a young mom. Um, before I get straight on to this video, please ensure to like most importantly share and subscribe and also you can hit the bell notification button to get notified when i post so basically <sighs> let me just a bit. so basically i'll be discussing um some stuff that are hard for me being a young mom, right? First pointer is that um my appearance, right? There's this thing about my appearance. So I'm about five foot three right now. The last time I checked, I'm about five foot three and you guys know that that's short, right? I'm a short person. So whenever I go on the road to do errands or anything like that, the first thing that will come out of most people's mouth is that, oh, she look, oh, she look on her breed already. She a much up her future. She a F long time. She not going to be a good mother. She not ready for this yet. Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of awful stuff I can sit and tell you right now. But the more I talk about that part, it's just going to let me break down once again. So, so it's like every time I decided to go on the road to do my business and those stuff, that's all I'm getting. I'm getting all the, all the negativities and that just leads me to a point of a breaking point. Most other people out there will like, they will give me compliment, compliments and say like, hey, your belly bump, your baby bump fits you. Um, congrats. Um, I know most people will say that, um, that this was too quick, but congrats. And, you know, they'll just try to say the most cheerful stuff towards me and towards my baby. But at the same time, you have some hateful people out there who just corrupt your mindset and make a good on you know, on dark spot because honestly at this point most times I'm afraid to go on the road like the only time you'll catch me on the road if it's really important like if I'm going to my doctor's appointment or if I just want to go to have a little fun and to be honest i don't really go at this point i don't really go out as much at this point support me and to push me forward for me to not feel in this type of way well there's a one and two person there and here who is with me trying to help me go on and motivate me but at this point i need more i just need a lot more because there's some stuff that has been going through my mind lately like just some stuff honestly that I have not been loved at this point. The way that I look out for others, I don't really get back that much energy from people, especially the dominant person in my life. So basically, there will be some people backlashing me, like I said in the first half, 
ang madaminang person will be like, hey, you're this, you're that. So those sort of stuff would have hurt me. Those sort of words would just put me in a dark place to let me break down, like break down completely. And the fact about it is that most people would like say some awful stuff and it's just the negativity the negativity alone is getting towards me and the fact that i don't really have any support at all i don't really have anybody at my side at all the next thing is that um in my state of being right now that i am pregnant and so on the thing what it's like is that I was ashamed of who I looked but at this point I am embracing every single bit of it. I am my confidence my, my self esteem isn't up there at the moment but I am really trying to embrace all of this and the part of it that I am ashamed of myself is that someone else is ashamed of me you understand so it's kind of a bit of a, a merry-go-round right here so yeah um the next thing is that the main character that i want to let me feel like everything will be okay and i don't have to worry is a piece of shit at this point um <laughs> like it's kind of weird right now because all the time i'm in front of a camera talking like it's easy to talk in front of a camera than to really talk in, in front of a person because i don't really get that a lot i didn't really have that chance to sit and talk with someone because at this point i don't really trust anyone i can they can say that they tr um i can trust them or whatsoever but yeah it's just weird sometimes for me to sit in front of a camera and rant about my feelings but honestly i just can't take any of these anymore like this is not like i'm not the first person i am not the first and i won't be the last to go through all of this i am not the first so i don't know why people let it seem like it's a crime like it's a crime and it's a sin or whatsoever the same part of it is is for letting other people think that they should go and abort their child because they're too whatsoever and do sort of stuff and i don't like when a person judge another person's appearance because y'all can never know how old a person is and those sort of stuff i am another nice again i am not looking for any sympathy i am honestly not all i am looking for is for support right i don't really want anyone to feel sorry for me because that's not the case of this video that's not the case of it all i need is support i just need support i need motivation because i am not getting that i am honestly not getting that and it's so annoying because the people that you're around they're support other people for foolishness while you're here in a state of life and death because you know that you can go into a labor room at any time and die you might not know if you're going to come out alive or not not even you the baby as well so people who are around me like they'll support stuff that are foolish and while i'm here buckling up up buckling up all this pain and stuff it's hard you understand so i don't know why why i'm being a person for everyone to hate like it's just not it at all
it takes time all this takes time and there is this thing that is called karma and honestly karma is a darn bitch like anything that person has done to you or said to you that they want or said to you wanting to wish bad stuff towards you karma i'll go catch them back and would mind if catch some people who actually deserve it y'all know y'all know and y'all can tell by what i am going through like it's not an easy road i first of all didn't choose to go on this path and it just happened and i have to be the one to accept it and to be strong so <sighs> there is so much stuff i want to rant about on here but i just need to find the perfect time to do so because i'm really not myself right now i am not myself at this point so i'll end off the video right here yeah so i'll see you whenever whenever <laughs>